The Walt Disney World Resort is an interesting place. Whereas there was a time that you could pay cash or card or all kinds of things and get all kinds of food and souvenirs, well, those might be a time of yore. It turns out that the My Disney app went down the other day and people couldn't pay. They couldn't make reservations. They were stuck inside a park with nothing to do. Today we'll tell you what's going on and what you might try if this ever happens while you're at an unmagical kingdom. Hello folks, welcome back to the Pro Channel. We fancy ourselves theme park connoisseurs. We try to be experts, at least play them on the internet, right? Today we're going to tell you why things are not alright at the Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and the rest of Disney properties when that little app goes down. You see, they want you on your phone almost all the time, making reservations, paying for things, getting souvenirs, all of that. The problem is when the phone doesn't work, it seems that Disney doesn't work. And that leads to a strange feeling that families are being incarcerated in a place that's supposed to be magical, not tragical. All right, let's dive in with a panel who can tell you what happened, why it might actually happen again. In fact, it's not the first time. This is out of Fresh Baked. Uh, it's a Twitter account that says, Happening Now, Disney is alerting guests that there are issues with the payment processing per Disney. Urgent Disneyland news. All payment processing is down and all purchases are cash only. Not sure how it may affect mobile ordering. In park, ATM lines will be long. Recommend getting cash before you go to the park. Here is the article that uh, Marvin put up. And Marvin, thank you so much. We sent out the... Uh, the uh, what, what do they call the bat? What, what do they call the bat signal? The Marvin signal. We sent out the Marvin signal and uh, asked you if you could do this one quickly, and you did. Much appreciated. Disney experiencing company-wide payment issues impacting Disney parks and Disney store. Guess at Walt Disney World and Disneyland experienced a rare occurrence this morning when attempting to access the park's mobile apps. Disney wouldn't take their money. An internal technical issue seems to have impacted Disney's online point-of-sale system company-wide, causing issues with online checkout for the Disneyland app. Walt Disney World's My Disney Experience app, and DisneyStore.com. As a result, many guests were left stranded with no way to buy food, enter into restaurants, or otherwise stay hydrated before, uh, beyond small cups of water. This bit of chaos lasted many hours on September 23rd. Well, that's today at the time of this recording. The issue appears to be a uh, temporary, with Disney working to resolve the problem and get back on track. Guests at Walt Disney World this morning received a pop-up notification in the uh, Experience app, which read, Pardon the inconvenience. Some of our payment options are unavailable. And only PayPal is available at this time in select flows. We're actively working to resolve this issue. We apologize for any inconvenience. Here's the story. So Disney had to give out something free? Yeah, well, no, that's the bad mm. part about it. I don't think they did. I no. think people did were say, stranded did say with no way to get free cups of water. Well, we, yes, Ron, they're they're magnanimous that way. They will give you <laughs> that's, a small cup. Yeah, they, they, they give people the bare yeah. minimum they need to survive. <laughs> to continue to live. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible water, by the way. Water if anyone there. did die today, they if they had Disney Plus, they're not suing and they know it, so it's all okay. Marvin, walk us through the chaos that happened oh, and why it's so terrible when this little app goes down for the company. Well, the problem with the app going down is because Disney has basically centered the entire experience around this app. Uh, yeah, the, the reason it's called My Disney Experience is because it literally is your entire experience at this point. All of your photos are on there. Uh, you have to order food through there. You have to get Disney. Uh, I'm sorry, Genie. I'm not Genie Plus anymore. Lightning Lane through there. Uh, there is. Uh, you make your park reservations through there. Everything that you have to do to ensure that your day at Walt Disney World or Disneyland goes smoothly occurs through this one central hub. So when there's an issue with the one central hub, your entire day is shot. And this is a this is not an inexpensive day, pro. And you can't get you can't even get sustenance. So like you can't get calories Correct. because and by the way, there are very few ATMs in the park because they want you to use mm -hmm. this app. They want you to be on your phone. So if it goes down, then you're going to be standing in line. Those uh, that hundred and eighty dollars that you spent approximately to get in per person. Now you're spending hours of your day standing in line to, to go to the ATM. Ron, uh, from a legal perspective on all of this, uh, do people have any kind of uh, complaint? They no. can. They can. Uh, okay. No. Good deal. No, no. You're stuck. You're screwed. They disclaimed any rights they could ever have when they bought a candy bar at a at, at, at an ATM. I mean, at an at, at a uh, at an ABC. Uh, Local radio station commissary. <laughs> commissary is what you were looking for. 
Okay. That, that, right, which, which 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 subjected everybody to uh, to arbitration, binding arbitration. <laughs> yes. Only on the day of the infraction, by the way. You can't, you can't arbitrate the when, next day. When you tuned into that radio station, yeah, you just you just gave all your rights away. No, this is a huge deal here because, as Marvin was saying, they have removed people at the food ordering windows and so forth in order to push people towards mobile ordering. They've removed cashiers from um, many of the stores, including uh, what is it? The the uh, what am I thinking of? That the the main big stores in each one of these parks uh, because they want to have mobile checkout. Uh, also, too, Lightning Lane purchases and Genie Plus and all that. I, I mean, everything is impacted by this. And uh, this, I mean, this could have been a you know millions of dollars worth of foul up because uh, payment processing. That's that's going to take you down as well. But this isn't the first time we've heard about this. We've heard about this every I would say three or four months. Not. There's big oh. downtime. You've heard about this, Ron, right? Where something will break I've experienced at Disney's as a cast member. Ron, walk, walk yeah. us through the lack of redundancies here. Why why do they not have a backup system when this goes down? Why does it turn to chaos every single time? <laughs> You're asking Ron right. Bradley, not me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about this. Ron Bradley. Ron Bradley. Ron Bradley. The park <laughs> Go ahead, Ron. No, it's, it's – let me tell you. Like, Ron, and Ron, I, but I think, Ron, Disney you and I also have never been on the, on the show together before. Yes. Yeah, so, so, I've never been on with you either, Ron. Your <laughs> Who's that? Uh, that Make it And by the way, if somebody who experiences this goes to the airline – that got them there from a home and says, Hey, you know, we were supposed to have a six day visit and one whole day was wasted because we couldn't spend money. You'll give us a, a, a free change of our flight to another day and pay for our hotel room, by the way, Disney, because you want us to be there for that extra day that we planned, right? Sure, of course. Let me hear that famous no, Ron. <laughs> no. Every freaking day of my life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, by the way, remember, uh, so yeah, remember, this is not only about processing payments, it's about monitoring everything you do. I'm amazed yeah, they that they don't have some sort of business continuity program that is embedded into their parks and everything that they're doing, especially if they're doing everything through this app. I am astonished. I had never heard this before, and I haven't been to Disney or Disney World or Disneyland in years. Um, but I think every company and i've worked for some big companies you know much smaller than disney but still big companies and they have some sort of a business continuity program where okay if this fails then we go to this and we have backup systems and we have ways to get things done and keep the business going you know in the event of an emergency because guess what things do happen internet does go down apps do crash so this is mind blowing to me uh, that this is happening, and they're probably oh. losing tons of money. Okay, but well, there's, there's, there's there's actually and, and a possible and everything. This is incredible. That that's the the possible point here is that part of the reason that this may have been an issue is because of PCI DSS requirements, which has to do with your payment processing and making sure that the entire transaction is secure from the payment terminal to the acquiring bank. And mm -hmm. so I would guess that that may be what's restricting them from getting it fixed quickly. It's not but simply a matter of switching networks. It's that the entire uh, communication chain has to be secure and approved by your acquiring bank. The chain sure, of custody, but, so to speak, of your money as it goes through. But it's a, there's a larger conversation here, guys. It's it's um, the fact that the reason that you have Disney minus in the first place or, you know, <laughs> is it, the, the terrible Disney experience, whatever the thing's called now. Um, is because of Tom Staggs and his brilliant brainchild idea of putting everything there so that they could schedule more efficiently and reduce the headcount that they had at their theme parks at any one time. So there is no continuity. There's no magical more employees showing up. And that's one of the biggest problems at the theme parks when something like this happens. Yeah, they absolutely. they don't have they don't have built in contingencies like they used to. They can't there is, shift. There is staff. no ready room of people sitting around waiting to take over for the people that aren't there. Exactly. You know, there isn't there are people. You know, there are a lot of people that aren't cross trained anymore. They can't move like from retail to ride a they, version of uh, of staffing. Sure, sure. But they, but they, they can't move. They, they're not cross trained. They can't move from one place to another. They can't move from one attraction to another. There's uh, you have you have ride leads that seem to be un, un incapable of of doing anything but the one place that they've been for the last six months. There's a, there's some yeah. real problems, unlike hey. the older days. I mean, Ron, you worked for them. I know a lot of people that have worked for them, and you had a certain level of proficiency in different, in different locations. So, I mean, you, you, you janitors that were also in retail and stuff, but they don't have that anymore. It's, I, it's like, I think it's, I figured it out. 
you know, the the lead that was putting people on uh, uh, Tiana during thunderstorms for 40 minutes as mm -hmm. a demotion, as a discipline while they retrain them. They moved them over to the payment processing part of the park. <laughs> well, regardless, regardless, it's just it's just a matter of a few years ago where you had a lot of people that were proficient at many things. Well, sure. and, 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 and but but even then, now you create a, a cascading set of failures, which is kind of what happened with this payment processing thing. But this happens all the time. So to, so, to, to be fair, culture, there are cast members now that are proficient at being multiple genders. So that's okay. Oh, well, well, yeah, that's, that's what they are. Is. And folks, we've come to the end yet again. Saying sayonara is such sweet sorrow. But do not fret, not yet, for more content is on the way. Three times a day right here on the Pro Channel for thrice is very nice. We hope you enjoyed your stay. If you did, consider clicking that like button, share, subscribe, click it, stick it to the algorithms. And folks, don't forget, drop a comment right on down below. Join a community dialogue for a mind is a terrible thing to waste and waste not yours. Folks, we hope you will consider, if you like theme park news, checking out our partner program, that's That Park Place, the channel here on YouTube, at That Park Place, where they'll have even more coverage of this very subject. Until the next time, keep learning, keep growing, and as always, keep having fun.